Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Welcome to another video on a very beautiful problem. This one is from the entrance of Indian Statistical Institute. So, let's see what is given in the problem. But, at the end of this video, I will ask you to finish it off with the answer. So, it will be a challenge for all the viewers. If you can solve this problem and put the final answer in the comment. Let's see what the problem says. It says that we have a three-digit number. Let's suppose it's A, B, C. And we are searching for that number. Now, certain facts are given about this number. For example, if the number is A, B, C, is of course, we can write it as 100A plus 10B plus C. Now, there are three things given. The first thing is that the square of the digits add up to 146 square of the digits so a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 146 the second thing that's given is that the units place digit and the tens place digit so in our case it's c and b they add up to four times the hundreds place digit so c plus b adds up to four times a and the third thing that is given is that if you reverse the order of the digits, so you had A, B, C, now if you have C, B, A, if you have C, B, A, then the value increases by 297. So 100 A plus 10 B plus C is smaller that 100C plus 10B plus A and it's smaller by 297. Okay? So, with these things, with these facts, we have to find out ABC. You can pause the video here and give it a try on your own. Alright, so how do we go about it? The first step is to realize is that we can just subtract 100A plus 10B plus C from 100C plus 10B plus A, we can subtract that and we get 297. And this turns out to be really simple. It's 99C minus A, 99 times C minus A. So 99C minus 99A. So you can just divide by 99 to get C minus A as 3. So that's the first deduction. C is minus A is 3 or C is equal to A plus 3. Okay, now we can go back to the second equation where we know that B plus C is equal to 4A. So if you just replace C by A plus 3 in this equation, B plus C plus 3 is equal to 4A, you'll get B is equal to 3 times A minus 3 or 3 times A minus 1. So what we have done essentially is we have expressed B and C in terms of A. Right? So now we come to the final step where we replace A, B and C by expressions in terms of A. So A stays A, so we have A square. B becomes 3 times A minus 1, so the square of that. So that becomes 9 times A minus 1 whole square. And C becomes A plus 3, so we have A plus 3 whole square. So we have A square plus 9 times A minus 1 whole square plus A plus 3 whole square. This turns out to be 146. And now you can do some simplification to get a quadratic equation in terms of A. You can see in the screen what that will be. You can solve this quadratic to find the value of A and using A you can find out B, you can find out C, hence you can find out the entire number. Okay? So I want you to finish this off in the comment section. I hope you like this sort of problems. If you are interested in non-routine problem solving, you can visit chitta.com. We have outstanding programs 
on mathematical olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, school level research projects. And if you are interested to go abroad for education, we have services for that. So check that out. I am pretty sure that it will be a lot of fun for you. Okay. All right. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.